Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, we are back in Windcraft. Now, today, all I have planned is to, you know, finish the fucking distance that we have and get to level 34. So, the next episode, we can properly do, start it off by doing the quest to get our horse. And, uh, yeah, um... I hopped on, and I see I could finish Christmas Chaos, or, or I could finish Craftmas Chaos, however, I don't know how to get back to where I was, because I was in a completely different phased uh, location, and I have no idea how to get back there. So I, I'm going to have to look it up on the wiki, but there's another quest that we, we could do right here called the Green Gloop, so... I believe if we do this one, we should get to level 32, and there should be, yeah, see this one right here, Sandy Scandal, that one might get us to 33, and then we'll have two other quests right there, so, um, hopefully, hopefully we can do that. If not, if it doesn't bring us to, if this one doesn't bring us to 33, we'll have to go back and do Craft Miss Chaos. Which, uh, which will be fine. I still have the footage from that, so I might include it. I might not. Um, but yeah, uh, let's start it off right away and go over here. Okay. Um, Elused Herp. Oh, hey, you adventurer over there. Would you mind helping me? You see, this cave behind me has been troubling me for the past while now. There are special slimes that live in there, and they drop a certain goo that is quite a delicacy when brewed into a drink. They are called gooey slimes and should be at the very back. A friend of mine drinks the stuff like water, and he refuses to work without it. However, the slimes have gotten stronger about a month ago. I'm unable to retrieve it anymore. I've come close to getting killed a few times. You, however, seem much better equipped than I. Hopefully you can do it. If you decide to help me, you'll need to obtain a special device for retrieving it as the slime will dry up quickly in the air. A less fickle glass blower, Yadbon, can make it for you. He should be living in a house in front of the Elmuj bank. I'll need eight slimy goos since we'll need a big batch of drinks. If you help, I'll be sure to tell him, and he'll probably let you into his shop. Okay, so we have to go back to Almuj and find Yadbon. Alright, here we are in Yadbon's house. Welcome to Yadbon's glass blowery. What can I do f Oh, another stinking adventure, eh? So many been coming up to me recently, asking for a bloody slime scooper. Is that brother of mine stopped working again? I swear, he's addicted to that slop. Anyways, for me to make you a scooper, you'll need to get five soft sand. Come back to me once you've gotten a hold of it. You can dig it up from the sand piles around the desert. So, we got to get five soft sand from around the desert. Okay, well, let me, uh, let me roam around till I find it. Back in Almuj, I got the five soft sand. It took like maybe 10 minutes to do it. It was not a long process. You've returned, I see. I right, fork him over and I'll make you the scooper. There you go. No idea why he wants that stuff though. Maybe it's an acquired taste. Okay, so now that we have the slime scooper, we go back, get the slime, and hopefully that will be the end of this quest. And we're in the caves. Uh, I think the guy said that the slimes are in the back of the cave, so... We gotta go all the way back there to get the slime goop. Okay, now this... It's a ton of slimes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna group them all up. Oh, we leveled up. And here's your goo, sir. Oh, you're back. Good to see you were able to get through there. Have you gotten the full slime scooper? Hmm, yes. Everything seems to be in order. Perfect. Thank you very much. Finally, I'll be able to get him in gear again. 
Why are all villagers so fickle like that? Well, I suppose that's besides the point. I'll be sure to let him know you got him his most recent fix. He hangs around in a little black stall in the bazaar. There's a basement to it. He should let you inside now. And for your troubles, a little something from me as well. Alright, I'm gonna head over to Almuj real quick, put some of this stuff up, and, uh, organize my inventory. Alright, well, we can't... we can't go into the bank, because we have to do a quest before we can go in there. Luckily, we just leveled up, so we're the perfect level to do this quest. So we get to talk to this bank guard. You look like a hardy one, Ragni Army, is it? Would you be willing to help Almuj a bit? Us guards have been trying to root out desert bandits trying to rob the bank. We're using reports from witnesses to gain the information. If I give you some of the witness reports, will you help get clues from them? Great. The store from the first witness report is straight down the stairs, just past this building here, just behind me. The store that you should read the report is named Gibbs's Mining Supply Store, and it's the store that was robbed. I'll write the coordinates to the store so you can read the report just in case you can't find it. Okay, so we have to talk to witnesses to get to their reports and uh, use the store. Oh. You read the report and visualize its words. Told by Odin Gibbs, shop owner. Business was slow that day until two rugged, oddly dressed men stormed into my shop with a lot of nerve. Hello, gentlemen. What can I interest you in today? Some industrial torches, pickaxes? Before I could close any deal with them, the man with the dagger started threatening me. Shut your trap, old man. We came from a we came for a different kind of business. I try to make peace with the crooks. Well, look, fellows, just step out of my store. Nobody gets hurt. I don't want any trouble. The bandit put the knife closer to me and started demanding the code to the TNT vault downstairs. Listen up, old man. Tell us code to the TNT vault in the basement, or I decorate my necklace with your fingers. Certainly not. That TNT is for licensed mining companies only, not your average amateur miner. The bandits grew agitated and resorted to violence to obtain the combination. Well then, I guess you'll still be able to grasp a pick with four fingers, eh? They swiped their knife at me, leaving a sizable wound on my arm. Gah! Alright, alright, no more violence, please. I had no choice but to give up the combination, which was 7812. The code is 7812. Please don't hurt me. After I gave the, up the combination, they knocked me out. 7812. Thanks. We won't be needing you anymore. Now go to sleep. Holy shit, he fucking died. I had no idea what the criminals did after that. I never went back into my shop after the incident. Okay, so let's go into the uh, the vault. 7812. Where's. Th oh. Oh, this is the thing. Little TNT in the vault it has been robbed. The criminals seem to have dropped the knife used to stab shopkeeper Gibbs while robbing the vault. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's return with the information. You're back, having read the report, I assume? Did you find anything in particular? Missing TNT in the shop's vault? The report was truthful and trustworthy. We need to catch these criminals quickly if they have access to this dangerous of TNT capable of putting a hole in the bank's wall. Luckily, we recently had another witness report come in. This report takes place on the roof of the Scroll Merchant's residence, a garden roof. I've written the coordinates to the shop in your quest book, blah blah blah. Okay. Rooftop garden access. You read the report and visualize its words. I was having a fine time tending to my rooftop garden after a lengthy day of selling scrolls. While looking down on the street, I saw two unsavory men, one with TNT in hand, marching down the street. I was suspicious, so I tried to get their attention, but they ignored me. Hey, what do you two blighters think you're doing with those dangerous explosives in the city? I then realized they had no innocent itinerary. They were heading straight for my wealthy neighbor's house. I tried to yell for the attention of a guard or official, but nobody could hear me. 
Guards! Guards! Robber! Come quick! Urgently! Before anybody could hear me, a large explosion occurred inside the house of the bandits and troops. Gah! The bandits came sprinting out of my wealthy neighbor's house with two of his most prized possessions, two of his weapons. Damn. Find the source of the detonation. Okay, so it's right over here. Uh, this way? Oh, yep, there's fire. Oh, shit. This bedroom is where the explosion occurred. The criminals seem to have the intention of breaking to the vault. You should investigate it. Two weapons are missing from the wealthy estate owner's weapon rack. The two weapons stolen by the criminals were stolen from this vault. It is troubling. The criminals have access to weapons so powerful they must be locked in a safe. I should return to the Almuz bank guard with my information. So they stole weapons and TNT. Now, did they need the TNT to break into that vault? Or are they using the... If they still have TNT, what else will they be using it for? I'm guessing the... I'm guessing this, the bank. Are you able to uncover any new information regarding the status of the criminals? Oh dear, this isn't good. The criminals plundered two very powerful weapons. It won't be easy facing those criminals if they decide to raid the bank with those weapons. I'm not certain how to proceed from here. We didn't receive any more witness reports and- Bus! I just received urgent reports of a robbery underway in the left residential area of Almuz. Oh my! You! Soldier! Urgently! The residential area this robbery is taking place in is across the bridge next to the first house you visited today. There will be somebody waiting for you outside the house once you get to the residential area. If you still can't find it, I've written the blah 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 and your blah blah blah. The coordinates and your, uh, fucking- all right, well, we gotta fucking zoom on over there. Yeah. Hello? Are you the with a guard? Good hurry. Some bandits just ransacked my house and left with lots of emeralds. Follow me to my house. Hopefully you can find the bandits. They stole lots of my precious gold. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is where the gold is. They just... Holy shit, this guy has a lot of gold. I went this way. Do not enter, you have been warned. Oh shit. Here, maybe you'll help us pull the heist if I give you some of this gold we just stole. Uh oh. Uh oh. Aha, I had a feeling we had a guard on our tail. I wouldn't want to wear out my new stolen weapons killing you. I'll just trap you in here with all this TNT. This'll blow up in a few seconds. Good luck getting out of here. Oh shit, that's a lot of TNT. Find where the bandits blasted a hole to get into the bank vault. Oh shit. Right here. They're getting into the bank. It's too late to stop us now. We're already about to bust out of here with a grand prize. Sure to gain us province-wide respect. Okay, they kept going this way. Oh, shit. Where are they? Look here. The soldier decided they wanted to follow us. Dumb move. I guess we can kill two birds with one stone, escaping the bank, and killing this pest. Block the entrance, bandits. Um. Oh, shit. Well. Defuse the TNT to prevent the bandits from escaping with the emeralds. Okay. Okay, gotta defuse it. Okay, defused it. More TNT. Where's the TNT? Oh god. 
Rip me. I'm fucking dead. Oh no, we've run out of TNT. We run over our heads. We just can't defeat him. Alright. Gotta throw one TNT into the hopper. Oh. Come here, Mr. Leader. Got that TNT. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. We nearly died. That was, uh... That was dangerous. Talk to the Almuj Bank Guard. All right, so we stopped the heist by killing the uh, the leader, and you know, foiling their plans. Like the the great soldier that we are. All right, Mr. Bank Guard. What happened down there underneath the bank? I heard the rumble. You stopped the crooks. Amazing. The Almuj Bank is typically reserved for trusted members only. However, you have proven yourself today to be one of them. Thank you for your service. We are now level 33. We have access to the Almuj Bank. Fucking nice. That is exactly what I wanted. And we'll uh, start on the other two quests. Um, meaningful Holiday. Alright. Charity store. Here is Haley. Hello, dear. My name is Haley. Nice to meet you. This is the Almo's Charity Center. We're looking for volunteers to help with homelessness this year. If you want to help someone else this year, our boss Nick is already out in the thick of it. He's really a special man. I'll write his location down for you. Oh, remember, this is charity work, so hopefully gratitude is good enough reward for you. And XP. Bitch, I better get XP. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. There's more people here than ever. Hmm. Are you just passing through? Oh, a volunteer. You're the only one this year. Things have really changed. We used to have hundreds of volunteers this time of year. The people here are starving. There's no two ways about it. I don't know how we're going to feed everyone this year. The man who runs the budget store used to be homeless. He knows the struggles they face. I'll look after things here. Can you go to the budget store? It's really close. Any food is gratefully received. Okay. Budget store. Floater. Hello, young lad. What can I do for ya? A food donation for the homeless? I'm sorry, but everything is sold out. Everyone is preparing for craft craftsmiss lad. I might have something in the attic. If you find anything, you can have it. I know how difficult it gets. What the fuck are you? Moldy apple. Alright, well... Two moldy apples. I'm guessing that's it. Oh, there it is. Hmm. This apple has seen better days. Looks like I'm fresh out of food. Barely gotten off to feed myself. I wish I had something to give this year. I guess people are having a feast in the city. Return to Nick. Tell him the bad news. I, I have two moldy apples for someone. You know. They can, they can have that. Any news? I see. I was counting on him. I can't be too upset. He donates so much the rest of the year. We may have to ask the farmers directly. I know someone in... Uh, Turnivus with a kind heart. We've fallen out before. Seems he didn't understand what a donation was. There's a shortcut south from here and a cave. Go through there. Oh, also, can you give this blanket to Margaret while you're down in the tunnel? Just follow the road behind me. Okay. There's a thing under the wall. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's safe. Oh, shit. Hi, Margaret. Where's your blanket? Oh, please don't move me along. I have nowhere else to go. Oh, a blanket for me? How sweet. From Nick, you say? He's always so kind. Thank you as well. If you want to get to town of us quickly, just keep going through this tunnel. Some unfriendly homeless folks live around here too, so be careful. It's so sad, their state. 
Yep, desperate men and fucking skeletons. Parkour. Parkour, parkour. Dude, I'm so good at parkour. It's unbelievable. Turn of his. Turn. Turn. Turn of his. I don't know how to fucking. Uh, I guess this is the guy that we're supposed to talk to. Welcome to my farm. Looking to buy some of my fresh crops. Well, it seems you're out of luck. I've just sold the last of them from this harvest. It was all that for that big craftsman's feast happening in Dentless. Wish I could help you out, but I'm fresh out of food to sell you. Wait, I bet Nick sent you, didn't he? Well, he's coming up on your left. We're not remind him this isn't a charity. Hey, DK Machine, any luck? We can't get any food? We're running out of options here. Well, there's only one person left that we can appeal to at this time of year. Follow him. What the fuck? Um, we're looking for Santa? I thought we were supposed to kill Santa. Down here. Where the fuck are you, big man? Here you are. Hi, Santa. Nick, you know the deal. The council all have their areas to care for. Yours is Almuge. How you care for it is your responsibility. There's five times more homeless and hungry than last year. Nick, I know times are tough there, but... Tough? It's impossible. What happened to people's goodwill? I had one volunteer this year. One! I'm sorry, Nick. You could go to Debtless and ask there. They have a feast big enough to feed an army. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I miscalculated your journey here. Good to see you. I suppose you heard Santa and I. Our next location is Debtless. All right, that's settled then. Leave through the fireplace behind me. It will bring you directly to Debtless. Good luck. Okay. Portal brought you to Debtless. The ball must be nearby. The ball. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we just go through there. Wow, the people here live in such grandeur. I wonder if they know people are starving to the east. Let's ask around for some donations. More importantly, let's hope they'll share a trifle of food. Ask the guests for food. I don't believe they will. People are naturally stingy in life. I can't give away free food. This is the biggest feast of the year. You should go ask charities for that. Bitch, that's what we are fucking doing. What are you doing here? This event is invite only. You aren't even in formal dress. What do you want? Food? You want food? Does this look like a charity to you? Of course not. We have an obligation to feed our party goers, not some poor scraps of men in the desert. Now go get out of here before I call the security. Okay. And don't even think about stealing from the kitchen. Okay. We don't want to get caught. The chef guy. I think that's all we needed. Bring it to Nick. Were you able to get any food? Yes, I was. A food crate. You do? I didn't expect them to be so generous. A whole crate? Uh, yeah. They were so generous. Yeah, I know. I stole it. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. Stealing is not the craftsman spirit, but I think I can make this work. Go on ahead. I have a plan. Don't worry. I'll return all this food. Escape the ball. Okay, we go this way. Talk to Nick. Oh, he's talking to everyone. Listen up, everyone. I know you are hungry, because I am too. But your dinner will not be served tonight. There will be no Craftmas feast this year. You can't do that. The food on the table is enough to feed everyone here. This one night, this one missed meal. This is how thousands of people live every day. Hungry, wondering when the food will be available. 
And while you sit there with empty stomachs, be thankful for what you have. Spare a thought for those who have not. Hundreds of men, women, and children just like you will not eat tonight at all. All because this enormous feast was not enough. Debtless bought all the food, cheap or expensive. I am here to remind you the real meaning of this day, to think of others. I will return your meal tonight, but while you eat it, I want you to remember every empty mouth it could have fed. Share what you have. Be thankful for what you are given. Yeah, and they fucking stopped talking because they're fucking bitches. Well, it looks like you came through yet again, Nick. I came to see if I could help out, but it looks like you've done it. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do com to do to complete this scene. Oh, shit. What's going on? Is that snow? Yep. Hope y'all have a merry craftmas. Ho, ho. Looks like my little speech brought the rich back down to earth. They gave us half of their feast. Can you believe they still had leftovers? All of that th food going straight to waste. They have no idea what they have compared to these poor folks. You might be wondering why I know Santo. Well, he's my brother. My siblings and I take care of people at Craftmist. My area is the Almuz Desert. I guess you can call me Santa Claus. <laughs> It's people like you that keep the real meaning of this holiday alive. It gets harder every year as the meaning is distorted. Here's a personal gift from me. Thank you. XP and emeralds. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well. We only have one more quest. And that's uh, Kingdom of Sand. It's a long quest, though. It's over at Sandswept Tomb. All right. I will, uh, I'll meet you there. Alright. We are now at the Sand Swept Tomb entrance. Seems like there's something going on at the tomb. The fuck are you? Hmm. No dice. Let me try another. I hate doing female voices. That's a rough translation. Ugh, I guess the legend is true about the scepter. Maybe you can find out more by talking to her. Ah, a Ragni soldier. I didn't think you had much to do out here in the desert. I'm out here trying to get this... Trying to get into the Emperor's tomb. Although I'm realizing I can't do it without his scepter. Way before the portal came about, there was a massive empire laid across this land. A powerful emperor ruled with a mystical weapon... When he died, the Empire fell beneath the sand. Untold treasures are inside the Emperor's tomb, but without his weapon, there is no hope of entering. It has long been rumored that bandits have the scepter. They probably have no idea what it is. If you can get it, we can enter this dungeon and seek out the Emperor for ourselves. The bandit's base is at the start of the Mesa, up the hill. Okay. So we gotta go get a scepter of shifting sands from a group of bandits. All right, this is the, uh, the outlaws attempt to enter the outlaws' hideout. What? Want to enter the hideout? Even if you're a crooked soldier, we can't just let her in. That is, unless you got the password. Um, didn't think so. Now get lost. Wasted enough of my. T now, would you look at that? Even soldiers think they can waltz in here. Having fun thinking of a password? Sorry to spoil your lunch, but there isn't one. We could use a few more officials on the roster. Um. Okay. If you're on the liberal side of the law, talk to us outside. Uh, I'm more of a, uh, you know, right-winning individual. But, you know. Looks like you're in. Look, there ain't a password, because we're meant to be the best thieves in the land, right? So what good are words? You gotta give the guards something stolen, ain't ya? And we just so happen to have the opportunity of a lifetime for you. Rymek has gone soft, see? A new mayor is cleaning things up. 
Well, we can't have government not under our control. Rymek will always be a bandit capital. So how about we give him a taste of his own medicine and get hold of that journal he keeps? I'm sure that'll dig up some dirt on him. And by we, we mean you. You'll have to sneak through the mansion to avoid guards. He keeps his journal in the highest room. Knight needs to distract some guards too. It's the biggest mansion in Rymek. Can't miss it. So we have to go into a completely different city and infiltrate it. Okay. This is uh, going to be interesting. So we got to go up this way. All right. Like, but where are we supposed to go? We got to go down. Ow. Die. Okay. Smash cake. Epic. Okay. Rip carpet. Around this way. We go up. Cool, cool, cool. What about shit over here? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go up before we can do anything. That guy doesn't have anything, so we just keep going up. Yeah. Push crates. Oh, we go here. Okay, okay. I see. And then we go up here. Oh shit, there's a bandit. What? Grow potatoes. Okay. Great. It's like the journal. This is the room the journal was kept in. Yep. Got it. They're in there. Try to find a way out. Ow. Oh shit. Ow. All right, well, we, uh, oh, there they are. Hi, Tark, Geo. You know what? You could get kicked out of the army for this. Huh, guess you're the real thing. Hop in, let's get out of here. That journal is more valuable than any gem. You'll be able to get in for sure. Okay. Off we go. Where are we at now? Oh, we're back at the we're back at the place. Vault guard password. Oh, this is quite the password, Ragni man. I think this will do nicely. On you go. Look for the scepter with the bandit hideout. Seems like there's discussion going on. There's another mage at the ancient tomb today, boys. Well, she ain't got the scepter, does she? She can't do much harm. Wait, then why done we use the scepter, boss? Because the Credin Tibis is more than just a group of criminals. We are honor-bound to protect these sands. The empire that fell beneath these sands could be revived if that scepter made it back to the emperor. Good job no one will think of searching that broken cart near the river, eh, boss? Silence, you fool. Didn't I just say I was imperative no one found the scepter? Right. Go steal some things or something. I have real work to do. Search for the broken cart. Over and uh, okay, okay. Well, here's the broken cart. Oh shit! I knew someone was listening. We might be bandits, but we're not stupid. That scepter's left better off alone. Seize them. No, you 
will never take me alive, motherfucker. Dead, dead. Pop. Okay. Seems like uh we had the scepter in the house. Okay, so get the scepter scepter from here. Oh shit. Gimme the scepter. Gimme the scepter! I want it! The Emperor's Scepter. Yes, I have the power. Okay, well, let's uh, try this again. Hi, Lanu. You actually got it. I know I could count on you. Let's try this. Huh? We got no time for superstition. We need to break that seal. Okay, we'll go on right ahead. Just be aware of, you know, zombies. They might come out. Seems like something's happening. The entrance is opening. We did it. Who would have thought that it was that e yeah. Told you, zombies. What the hell was that? It was a zombie. That shouldn't have happened. I, I don't understand. The legend says that the Emperor was immortal. I thought this would work. Unless he cursed himself. There has to be more to this story. Perhaps we will never know the full story. Well, not unless we unearth... Well, not unless we unearth the desert itself. I'm sure the tale will be discovered in time. Well, maybe we'll see each other again. But I must go now. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. Awesome. Uh, we got Sand Swept Tomb Dungeon Key. And the uh, XP, we're now level 34. You know what that means? That means that next episode, we'll do the quest to obtain our first horse. I apologize if I was breathing into the mic a lot. I tried to cut most of it out, but again, a beginner's mistake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like the music I used, some of it was from the Hytel OST, so be sure to check that out in the links below. Till next time, adios.